In this segment, we're going to take a look at the open and save tools. And so before I do, take a notice that I have three untitled designs open on active on my workspace. And I can switch between the designs by simply clicking on their tabs here. And that shows me, you know, what I have open and I could work on. Now, if I choose the save button here, it gives us the option to first of all, choose where to save it. And so you can browse the folders of your computer. I'm looking in the folder that was installed with the software. So there's four draw files in here. You've probably all seen them before. Um, this folder is found under the public documents folder of your computer. So under public documents, there's a creative drawing samples folder. And inside of there, I'm gonna create a new folder. Now let's call it my designs. You don't have to do that, but it's a good way to keep yourself organized if you create folders of, you know, different things. So I can come into the my designs and I can even go further and say, you know, a folder for cup designs or co a folder for the project or whatever. But when, once you've got it all organized, how you like it, and you give it a name, so I'll call this phonograph. I think I got that spell right. Anyway, whatever you call it is fine. And I save it in that draw format. Now I could choose other formats if I say file and choose save as. So I went to the file drop down menu and clicked on that, which brings up a menu of options. And one of them is save as. This gives me the ability to change and you know give it a new name or a new format. And so if this was an embroidery design and I needed to save it to an embroidery format, I could do that. But it's important to remember you always want to save your work first in the draw format because that's the one that you'll be able to open and edit later on. Now, I'll just close this and notice now that the tab says phonograph on it. So the other tabs just say, you know, untitled and untitled, but the phonograph tab is, um, you know, been saved. Now, if I close it and I don't have these designs open anymore, if I say open, I could browse with my, uh, the window that opens up back into the folder that I made called my designs and find, oh, there's the design right there that we created that phonograph draw file and say open. So that's the, the purpose of saving to the draw format. Very important to remember, always save your work in draw format. Um, if you need any other formats, whether they be for um, an external cutting machine or for an embroidery machine, you can save your design at any time in those formats. But always make sure you have that draw file to go back to for editing later.